Welcome dear students to yet another class on the history of English language and literature. And today we shall discuss a topic called the spread of science and technology and the impact of the spread of science and technology in England during the Victorian period. We have discussed in our previous classes that there were large scale growth and industrialization in Britain during the Victorian era during the Victorian period. We also discussed about the rise of Oxford and Cambridge universities. There was a reform of these universities taking place during this period. Education and research gained prominence during the Victorian era. There were many reforms, social reforms, that will bring about a lot of changes in the society. Thus we shall say, we can say that the political climate of England was suitable for scientific growth and, and we see the rapid growth and spread of science and technology in England during the Victorian era. Uh, we see that during this time science assumed great importance in Britain during the Victorian era. Science is gaining a lot of importance. In 1831 the British Association for the Advancement of Science was founded. British Association for the Advancement of Science and the scientific activities were growing at a very great pace during this time at a, at a very great speed. The Victorian age witnessed a series of inventions and all these inventions made the life of people very comfortable during the Victorian era. Some of the important inventions that we can mention are the invention of bicycle the invention of uh, the typewriter, the invention of the camera, the devices running on gas and electricity, they were invented. Uh, we, we are using so many electronic devices in our lives. We know how they make our work very easy. So during the Victorian period, many devices running on electricity and the gas was invented. It would increase the comfort of the people. One important invention was the invention of telephone. Though all these inventions which we mentioned were not invented in England, the Englishmen benefit, benefited a lot from all these inventions. It would increase the comfort of the life of the people. We also see that a lot of important contributions were made to the world of medicine during this time. These contributions to the world of medicines are important because they will help to improve the health of the citizens. It will help to improve the public health of the nation. Some of the inventions that would take place in the medical field are the invention of anesthesia, the invention of antiseptics, uh, the techniques of vaccinations were invented, the drugs for mat malarial fever was invented, the stethoscope was upgraded, the microscope was upgraded. So a lot of medical inventions will take place during this time. One important person that all of us must remember when we talk about the public health of England during the Victorian times is Florence Nightingale. The public health in England improved with the principles of uh, cleanliness and the careful nursing introduced by this particular person called Florence Nightingale. And you will ask, I suppose you have heard about Florence Nightingale. Who was she? We can say that Florence Nightingale was an English social reformer and most importantly the founder of modern nursing. She would serve as the manager and trainer of nurses during the Crimean War and she would serve the soldiers, the wounded soldiers. In the Crimean War, Russia will fight against the alliance and the United Kingdom, Britain was part of the alliance. Florence Nightingale was the manager and the trainer of nurses during the war and she would serve the wounded soldiers of the war. We can say that she gave the nursing profession, she gave the nursing profession a respectable place among the different professions. She laid the foundations of professional nursing. Nighting, Florence Nightingale laid the foundation of professional nursing. I mean, we know that today during the time of COVID-19, 
nurses, nurses are valued so much. And the person who laid the foundation of professional nursing is none other than Florence Nightingale during the Victorian era in England. Naturally, we will ask the questions. What were the reasons for the rapid growth and spread of science and technology during the Victorian era? What caused the rapid growth of science and technology? The first, the first factor that would lead to the rapid uh, spread of science and technology is the cheaper and more access to printed materials. These printed materials which were cheap on scientific developments could easily propagate the scientific developments to the people, to the common people at a very low cost. So the first factor that will lead to the rapid growth of science and technology is the cheap and easy access of printed materials during the Victorian era. The second factor, the second factor that would help in the rapid growth of science and technology is the recognition of science as a profession. The recognition of science as a profession. Science was recognized as a profession and many would get involved in scientific research and inventions. So science was recognized as a profession. This was the second factor. The third factor that would help in the spread of science and technology was the great government support for scientific endeavor. The government began to support all kinds of scientific scientific endeavors. So dear students, we have discussed another very short topic today, the rapid growth and development development of science and technology in the in England during the Victorian era. The next lecture will be the continuation of this topic and we will discuss an important personality, an important person called Charles Darwin. For the assignment today, please write a paragraph Please write a paragraph on the development of science and technology in the Victorian age in England. Hope to see you soon with our next lecture on the continuation of this particular topic, the impact or growth of science and technology in the Victorian era. And we will be discussing Charles Darwin in our next lecture. Thank you for your patient listening. Have a nice time.